We love the sun. We love it. The print is just so cute. Maybe lie, but we'll see. So I was just watching Emma Chamberlain's new video and I saw that she was having this little snack in it and basically it's just like toast, hummus, and like vegetables I guess on top. Like I'm gonna slice some cucumbers and pepper and seasoning. And I was like, yo, that actually looks really freaking good. Um, and I wanted like some sort of snack. So I'm just toasting bread right now and we're gonna try it because my mom just made hummus. Like we don't really buy hummus, my mom makes it and it's so freaking good. Everything homemade is better. So I'm just toasting some bread now and I'm gonna try it on the spot while I'm watching her video because I'm just taking a lunch break from work right now. I think it's probably ready now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, and I wasn't gonna vlog like right now, but then I'm like, I have to, I have to like do this for you guys. Okay, like we're in this together. Mm, a little longer. Okay, so I have my bread toasted. Got the hummus. So I think I just put that on first. I don't really know. I shouldn't really dive into the instructions. But I'm just gonna spread the bread with hummus. And I've never had anything like this before, so this should be very interesting. I'm gonna put a very generous amount. This seems just like an easy, quick, and healthy snack. So if this is good, this is gonna be revolutionary. And then I got my cucumber slices. These are from my dad's garden. So extra bonus health points for that. Okay. Um I'm just gonna leave it just with cucumber because I don't really feel like putting anything else up. And then I'm just gonna add this like chipotle and Himalayan pink salt mix type of thing. And then I'm gonna put some red pepper flakes and some pepper. Here she is. Let's taste her. That's really good. That's really good. Why have I never done this before? Mm. And that took me like two minutes to make. You just have to spice it up a lot, I feel like, to make it more tasteful and yummy. But that's really good. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Okay. I'm gonna clean this up, eat, watch a video while I'm having my lunch break, and then keep working for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys whenever I pick up the camera next. actually like really stuffy in my car right now like it's hot i'm pretty sure it's like actually i didn't know it was gonna be like a really nice day today now since it hit september i'm just expecting rain every day to be honest because that's usually how it kind of is oh it's 23 oh tomorrow's gonna be 27 oh my god this i feel like this never happens in september global warming ladies and gentlemen just have to tell Julia that I'm leaving and I'm gonna listen to more of Drake's new album but honestly I haven't really found a song that I really like yet so I gotta hear out the songs because I haven't been quite impressed lately so we'll see anyways I'm gonna drive now we love the sun we love it I do I really do love the sun oh oh OTD leggings are from Alphalete Calvin Klein from Winners and I have no idea where the sweater's from and glasses are from Shein I got them so long ago so I pull up inside my cup and I just sit till I can't feel it. I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference. Hey guys, so me and Joel are currently just out running a couple of errands. Joel just had to get some shit done and I decided to come with him because it's a beautiful day and I just wanted to get out of the house. I didn't have too much work to do today, so um, I thought why not just join him and I also wanted to pick up a planner. I got my Starbucks because why not? I was gonna get a pumpkin spice latte, but it's like 27 degrees out today, so I'm like, you know what? I'll save the pumpkin spice latte for when it becomes like colder and more folly, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to get like bored of it. So I got just like my basic caramel macchiato. If you guys have any good Starbucks drinks recommendations, please leave them down below because I feel like I don't really venture out of my caramel macchiato just because it's like my favorite thing and I never know ordering a new drink if it's gonna be good and like it's like you're spending like six seven dollars on a drink at Starbucks so it's like I don't want it to be shit so if you guys have any good recommendations leave them down below um, okay so we went to Indigo literally this freaking store I can I can like live in there like that can be my home because I love it so much like I can literally spend like an hour in there like next time I go I don't want to be rushed and I just want to like go through every single aisle take a million hours because 
because it's I love it that much inside of there so I got this planner and look at how cute it is the print is just so cute and then it just has like the basic things and I like like how it has like the, the dividers and I just needed a planner I was just writing things on my phone but like I don't know writing things in a planner just brings me so much joy and it's honestly the little things like I just love having notebooks like this like I don't know why I just love it and I'm also very specific on how like my planners are formulated so um this one is like perfect because i really like how it has like all of like the days like lined up like this so i don't know i'm just like obsessed with notebooks and planners and i don't know why they just make me happy and i kind of want to stop at the dollar store to get some new pens too it's i don't know why it makes me so excited what? anyways um so yeah i can't wait to fill that out because oh, it's just like so hot keys where did i put them on right here um because i just like i don't know i just like writing things down and it helps me like remember to i have like a few sponsorships coming up as well so just making sure that i have the dates written down for those and i'm gonna make a habit of like looking at that every single day because i wasn't using my google calendar and i was just kind of like feeling stressed out that everything wasn't written down so i can't wait to start using that anyways we're just gonna head to the dollar store now i guess and then oh my god you guys can write in my planner with me when we get home Hey guys, so we just had to go to the tree plant store because our baby, okay, this is our baby, the money tree. It started dying. It started dying out of nowhere and we were like, what the hell? Like, we've had this for two years. Everything has been the same. We've watered it the same. Like, it's been in my room the whole time with good lighting and whatever. And he said that it's from, we were over watering it. Um, so he repotted it in a bigger thing. And he said that it should start blossoming and be fine again. So I hope so because like Joel got this for us for my Anna, for our anniversary. And it's supposed to be like our plant and it's supposed to last us forever. And we're supposed to, it's supposed to like grow into a tree slowly. So it would be cool by the time, like when we get older, like it's going to grow with us. You know what I mean? Um, so we can't let her die. She can't die. Joel, we should name her. So it's a money tree. So we should do something with like an M. Young money. Get the, the subscribers to come up with it. Okay, comment down below what you think. She should be named. Don't it, it judge has her no name. gender. Don't judge based on how she looks right now, though, because she's frail. Yeah, she's she frail. She normally looks nicer than she, that. Yeah, she's she normally dying. looks plump. Okay, she's dying, but we're reviving her. Her baby is not going anywhere. Thank you to the man who helped us in there. Very nice man, and thanks to him, our baby is still pushing through. About to go to the emergency plant section, but we're good. She rolled up in an ambulance. <laughs> yeah, we literally found the right guy for that. Yeah. Anyways, give us a name down below. It's a money tree again, if you guys forgot. Um, so if you have any name suggestions, leave them down below. I can't let this tree die. It's not like an ordinary tree. This is our anniversary tree. I would literally cry. Like, there's no way this can die. So we're just going home now. We're probably going to, oh no, I want to go to the dollar store. Are you still going to go to the bike store? Yeah, I gotta go to the bike store. We still have a couple errands to make. Today was just like an errand day. Yeah, it was an errand day. Today was a big errand day, actually. Yeah, we stopped at like literally 10 places so far. Well, not 10, but like three three places so far. I'm gonna go to the dollar store now and get some cool pens to write in my cool planner. Okay, so I just got back home and I had the hummus thing again because it was just so good. So I'm gonna just start writing in this and planning everything out. I got little markers from the dollar store and then I got also like a pack of like fine line markers because honestly I prefer writing with like really thin markers than like pens for some reason, I don't know. But I thought I'd make it really colorful and fun. So I got that and yeah. Honestly, I literally love like planning and stuff and writing in journals. I don't know why it's just so fun. I even love like just coloring, like I don't know, markers and notebooks and everything just fascinate me for no reason. Hey guys, so it's currently 
227 and we're at the mall because Madison needs to get some stuff. What do you need to get? Sorry, my friend is sending me videos because she has a really good mascara. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I no, started it, using it again and it's so good. No, I'm using it. It just so makes my good. eyelashes flat and she's like, trust me, she's like, you need to try this but it might be discontinued. The L'Oreal Telescopic. Like, I was using the, um, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and then I switched back to the L'Oreal Telescopic and it's so much better. Okay, anyways. Better. No, this is not sponsored. We didn't talk about that. I need to get, um, like, work pants for when I work weddings and then I need to- she got a new job. And I, I need to work, I mean I need to work, I need to get a bow tie and I need to find work shoes if I can find them here. Because you got a new job and tell them how much you like it. I love it so far. I only had one shift, but I love it, so. Hopefully that stays though. And I'm learning how to golf because I get free golf. Because it's at a golf course. Because it's at a golf course. So, so she's not going to school this semester. Sorry, mom and dad. Because I don't know what I want to study. Anyways, Anyways so we're going to go shopping and I'm not going to buy anything. You can mark me to that word except for Chipotle because there is no That's Chipotle. So such a lie. It might be a lie, but we'll see. There's like no Chipotles near us. Like this is the only Chipotle near us. Why and do it's you like say half like an that? hour away. Chipotle. 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 You're like Chipotle. 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 Lay. Chipotle. Chipotle. Um, so we're gonna stop here because we never get to get it because it's like the only one in the town. And it's not even in it's our area. Anyways. Anyways.